The Toronto Blue Jays hosting the Seattle Mariners, and the Mariners are plus 140 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 160. The over-under is 8.5 runs. Seattle getting a run and a half are minus 160, meaning if they lose the game by one, you win, or if they win the game outright, you'd win if they if you bet them that way. Now, Toronto laying a run and a half is plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Now, Flexen pitched once against the Blue Jays. He went five innings, three runs, three earned, and they lost that game nine to three. Kikuchi's playing against his old team, so obviously he couldn't pitch against them if he was a member of that team last year. Seattle's on a one-game lose a uh, winning streak. Toronto's on a one-game losing streak. Head to head, Toronto's on a one-game winning streak. Seattle is seven and three against the Blue Jays in their past ten. The team getting a run and a half is six and four, and the over eight and a half is seven and three in their past ten games. So if you go back and look, they've scored at least nine runs in seven out of their past ten games. I'm gonna go clean sweep here for the Mariners. Mariners with the money line. Mariners getting the runs, and I'm gonna go over the eight and a half. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.